Good afternoon, Nzinga. Yes, the ITU Telecoms Conference in Durban this afternoon is closing up. It's packing, people are packing up stores and they are going home after a four-day conference. Now, uh, what has happened during this conference is that we've seen a lot of discussions around policy. And what we've also seen, we've seen um, discussions around creating an enabling environment for both investors as well as small, medium enterprises. And what has happened, we've seen a partnership between government and the private sector to bring in over 150 um, SMMEs to exhibit here at the conference at no cost to these exhibitors. And what has happened that I, is what has happened is that I spoke to one of these exhibitors, and he, one of them, was very happy. He was so excited. He said, "Listen, we've always had trouble with access to markets, but right now, from coming by coming to this conference, we don't only have access to markets, to markets, local markets, that is, but we also have access to global markets. You could have seen." him he was very excited unfortunately we couldn't make let um, allow he couldn't stay for too long because he had to catch a flight back to, uh, to Johannesburg however he was grateful for the opportunity there are many others who have also been grateful for the opportunity to have to gain access and to also speak to investors and get business deals for themselves going forward now what has happened today is that um, during the close or final press briefing um, the ITU Secretary General spoke about how we've sp um, the conference has made a lot of focus to, with regard regards to infrastructure as well as policy. Uh, we saw earlier, we spoke to um, Minister of Telecommunications, uh, Mr. Siabong Agwele, who spoke to us about um, um, policies that they are putting in, in place in order to bring down the cost of connectivity, in order to bring down the cost of laying down infrastructure for, inve um, for in order to improve investments and encourage investments in the telecom sector. And he also spoke about spectrum and all of those things. He also spoke about um, what uh, the new policy, which also encourages um, the sale of Spectrum, which was also welcomed by the sector. However, what um, the Secretary General did say in the final uh, press briefing, he said that too little focus has been paid to SMMEs. And he said that going forward, they will be um, putting a lot more support towards, channeling a lot more support towards SMMEs. And he said that he was impressed with the innovations that he saw at some of the stalls here. Um, but with me to speak to us more about the SMMEs, and how they came here to, um, at no cost to them is uh, none other than uh, Minister Lindu Azulu, who, who is the Minister of Small Development, uh, Small Business Development, that is. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Yes, good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity. No problem. Thank you. Um, you know, I was impressed to hear that these young people came here at no cost to them. He spoke about how they were put in hotels and the likes. It must have been very expensive, but tell us how government was able to do this. Yes, absolutely. All the, the young innovators and creators and, and disruptors of the future are here and they came here with the support both from government and the private sector and this is what we keep on saying that if we work together we can really really do more and what you saw for yourself as we walked through the stalls you saw a lot of creativity young men young women black, white, all colors of South Africa, they are all here because this is an opportunity for them to showcase their innovation, but also to look for opportunities, as you've just indicated, both locally and globally. Okay, but some of the challenges um, that young entrepreneurs face include funding. Uh, we saw all, all kinds of amazing innovations that can actually be used by both government and the private sector. But how do they access funding in order to make sure that these innovations actually grow and become big global businesses? Again, this is where we go into partnership, both as government, but of course government takes greater responsibility, in particular because we're looking at transformation, and transformation is a very costly business. We're looking at encouraging young innovators and young entrepreneurs to look out for the funding both from a government point but also to look in the private sector even in the banks by the way because our conversations now there is a common understanding that if we work together we can be able to assist them from the department of small business development point of view we've got small enterprise development agency which is overstretched by the way because i can see that the demand is very high we've also got small enterprise develop enterprise finance agency and other agencies which are uh, developmental 
agencies. We also are looking at a fund, and this one for me is very important, the startup fund, because most of the innovators you saw there at the exhibition, they have the innovation, but they do not have the money to be able to take it forward. And investors are saying to them, no, we're not sure if we give you the money, you are going to be a, your, your project is going to be bankable. So we have to come in as government. And right now, we're working on a special fund which will focus specifically on startups. This project, we're working together with Treasury and the Department of Small Business Development as well as Economic Development. Thank you so much for speaking to us. There you have it. That was the Minister of Small Business Development, Ms. Lindiwe Zulu. It's back to you in studio for now. Thanks, Malentle Mtet. We're coming to us from the ITU conference, which is wrapping up. And it's also a wrap from the On Point team. SA Today is up next. Goodbye.